you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, it's Thursday, the last day of Series 1. I've been saying that for a while now, so you guys are just... So, everyone watching, I know you guys may not watch all three of the videos, so I mentioned in all three, so you guys have an idea. Tomorrow, Series 2 does commence, so that means plenty of things. You mutt levels, it means you solo challenges, new objectives. It's like a whole... It's like a, a brand new little baby Madden for us. Like, we got so much more to do. I'm really hyped for tomorrow, Series 2. Gonna be grinding my ass off, trying to get to the new mutt level, obviously. We're gonna get a new level cap, which is huge. But since it is the last day, they are dropping the final content of Series 1, and that will be Signature Series. Today is obviously Signature Series Thursday. I haven't made a video on Signature Series in what feels like a while. I don't know if I missed last week's or what happened or if there even was. I don't know if Hurricane Dorian threw it off. I don't exactly remember what happened with my last Signature Series video. But we do got one today, guys, and they're pretty cool. One of them specifically is a guy that I've been waiting for. I'm kind of upset it's a Signature Series, though, because when it's a Signature Series... Especially this year since you can't power pass it kind of does limit certain cards Like for instance the reason I don't like signature series when it comes to Certain cards is like let's say there's a Travis Kelsey, right? And I love Travis Kelsey. I want to power him up for the whole year Now if I have him at an 87 or 88 powered up if I want his uh, to max amounts like a 95 when the time comes I have to get a signature series card at some point Luckily what Madden did do this year is that all these signature series and all these limited time cards in the next series will go back into packs as normal cards. So realistically, it should bring them down to normal price. But for the current with the series they're in, it sucks as you can't power them up. Because not many people are going to be willing to spend a million coins to power up Travis Kelsey to a 90. Plus all his other cards. So in my opinion, that is the only limit on signature series that it really just kind of limits what you can do with the cards you like. But like I said, it is a really good thing that they made it so that these cards will no longer be limited after the series. So they'll go back into packs as a normal card, which is pretty awesome. So this card still, is still obtainable for me, but hopefully he's not, I don't know, because he's coming out the day before series two. I think he'll be limited till series three, which does kind of suck. So by the time that comes, he might not be usable. But guys, before we get into this video, make sure to go down below, hit the like button. I know it's a content video, so let's get this video to 100 likes. All my loyal supporters, smash the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noti bell. We're grinding to 9K. We hit 8K. Thank you so much for all the recent support, guys. Now, these new signature series cards. There is a Jason Kelsey, which is what I'm excited about. Because Jason Kelsey, in my opinion, is the best center in the game. And it's not because he's not well-rounded. His pass, his pass blocking usually sucks. But I really just don't feel that interior pressure from defensive tackles as much as you guys would think. I like my center because I run a lot of inside zone and nothing's more important than your center just holding that block like a monster. Like I love that when a center could just lay the defensive tackle out, go upfield, lay the middle linebacker out. He holds every block, no one gets off because that's huge. Inside zone or any inside run is so dependent on your centers and your guards, especially your center holding that first block. And if he goes unblocked, he goes upfield and that, that, that's when big plays happen. When he goes upfield, gets the linebacker and holds that block, you cut right off of it. So I'm excited about this. It also did release a Telvin Smith. If you don't know who Telvin Smith is, he's an outside linebacker for the Jaguars. In my opinion, in years past, Telvin Smith's always been like a beast when it comes to athleticism as a zone linebacker user. I've always loved Telvin Smith. Last year, he was the Series 1 master, so I did have him for quite a bit of time. So I have some experience with Telvin Smith. I do really like him. They are limited time, though, which kind of does limit who can have him at this point in the game. But like I said, eventually, they'll come back into packs, and they'll be a lot cheaper, and they'll go for what their training value says they should go for at some point. Now, obviously, they're not going to be up on the block just yet because because Madden, and that always happens. So let's head on over to Twitter, show you guys Jason Kelsey stats, and then I'll go over the rest as the time comes. But in my opinion, I really do like the Jason Kelsey, so let's head on over to Twitter. All right, boys, so we're on Twitter. As you can see here, Jason Kelsey, signature series, 91 overall center, limited time card. He's got that little Hermes-looking Swift thing. I don't know what that means because I don't. I haven't really, like I always say, I haven't really dove into abilities just yet this year. I've been waiting for training to come down a lot. And as we get new cards, obviously, we're seeing more abilities that are unlocked such as like the one that I forgot what Pat Tillman has his enforcer and something else but we're seeing a lot more guys get new abilities so I haven't really dove into it yet until all abilities are unlocked and training goes down a lot but I will know probably with this card when the time comes but he is six foot three I'm not entirely sure how much height really factors into alignment if they do at all 81 strike that's a little bit low for a center or alignment in general but he's got 94 awareness and from what I've been told in years past awareness is huge for the center position 
the center is kind of like the quarterback of the o-line he's the captain he's the brain of the o-line so i don't know how much that impacts the video game but i know in real life it'd be important 84 pass block 79 pass block power 86 uh, pass block finesse so actually the pass block is decent considering i don't really care for it the pass block is decent enough to where i won't mind it it'll actually be a big improvement over the curse the current kelsey i have and his run block is the big selling point he's got 94 run block 91 run block power 93 run block finesse if you chem this guy up power him up all the way put madden up uh, rushing on him this card could have all mid to high 90 run blocking stats that's pretty awesome i think if you power him up and you chem him up his run block specifically could probably get to like a 97 98 if you have madden power madden rushing you have maxed out uh what's it called rushing chem and then you also have him powered up this car could hit pretty good heights of run blocking he could almost be like a, a long-term center option it sucks that he has limited time because it's obviously going to limit if i can even get him i'll probably end up waiting till series three to pick him up but obviously by then there might be a center that's more well-rounded that could do both but for the time being i really love this jason kelsey card i think he's personally awesome now what's really going to be important is his impact and lead block although i don't know how much that's going to really matter considering like i said for impact blocking to really for you to really feel that it's going to be when he goes unblocked and he leads up field but trust me when i run inside zone my current 85 kelsey is a monster if he gets if he gets unblocked he goes upfield to the linebacker he he locks off pins the linebacker and then I'm, i can cut right off that mark sound i really do love this now all i gotta i'm, I'm improving the o-line guys now next let's go check out that telvin smith all right guys so heading over to the mudhead screen we finally got telvin smith up of course the card art's not gonna load we can see his stats so he's got 85 speed he's a 91 overall by the way which you guys should probably already know 31 cap value i cannot see his uh archetype because of the fact that the card art's not loading he is not up on madden yet i've been checking that and i do not see him sadly so it looks like i'm gonna be doing it from here it really sucks these signature series they do take forever to follow. i mean there are limited time it makes sense but let's get into this he's at 85 speed really freaking fast for an outside linebacker he's like lawrence taylor s but he won't be nearly as good he's at 87 excel really fast 86 agility really good 88 awareness 88 play rec so so far those stats are pretty amazing jumping's a little bit low but we can deal with that 84 block shed not horrible 93 pursuit that's huge honestly 93 pursuit means that he could probably catch he actually most definitely can catch any card in the game from behind unless it's like bo jackson but for the most part it'll probably get a good angle on them he's at 87 tackle 84 hit power 44 power move 53 finesse move 76 man coverage 80 zone so actually let me go over the catch he's got eight, 67 catch which isn't horrible now the way i see this card is he's a very athletic outside linebacker that can decently play zone decently play the run decently he's kind of like the jack of all trades linebacker he can't pass rush but he can play zone he can play coverage he can sit he can he can play the run he can run stuff he's pretty well round he can lay the boom a little bit he's pretty much good at everything but not great at anything which isn't entirely bad he's probably going to be an easy power up chain considering you just power past this one the only issue is he's limited time so we will have to wait until after the series is over for most likely the series uh going to series three for him to not be limited time his abilities does he have clutch no he has high motor yes coverage linebacker defensive line spin move defensive line swim move ball rush move no bull rush move my bad big hitter yes and strips ball yes aggressive in the air those are really good player traits i actually do really like the selvin smith card it sucks that he is at lawrence taylor's position so i'll never be able to use him and that he also has limited time so again never be able to use him but honestly i really i'm a big fan of the selvin smith i really like him and i honestly wouldn't mind having this card if i didn't have lawrence taylor i if he was a left outside linebacker i would most certainly slot him into the lineup at some point but that's not the case because obviously with the way this game all well, works typically i only rush one outside linebacker so i actually kind of want my other linebacker to be um, a zone guy but currently i have von miller and lawrence taylor guys it is real quick just checking see if i can see a price on him and i do not of course he's not gonna be up for probably a long amount of time guys i would like to show you guys how the prices are looking right away and his card art but obviously this is gonna be posted for quite a while i should be used to this already with signature series every limited time card when i make a video on it kind of sucks because I get this out to you guys right when it comes out but i can never really go in depth on it as far as the madden screen i mean obviously i can show you the stats otherwise so it doesn't really matter but i do like to show the card out here and the card art was lagging but it's not the biggest of deals guys hopefully these are up pretty soon if you guys like them you can probably pick them up would i recommend picking them up for a million coins plus probably not but you always could do exactly that uh i'll probably be waiting around to check out the price and then after that i'll go to go head out you know i got school so gotta go do that but i did get enough videos for you guys for today there should be three of them so i hope you guys enjoy your day I hope you guys can watch all three of those videos. We got Series 2 tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. If you don't know what to do before Series 2, that's perfect. I have a video on it. Go over to yesterday. I dropped the What to Do Before Series 2. Watch that now after this video. 
and be ready for series two drop all right guys that's it that's about it for the video if you guys did enjoy make sure down below hit the subscribe button boys we're grinding to 9k let's get it going been really enjoying the whole Madden grind. Make sure to comment down below what you think of these cards. Um, personally, I think I like the Kelsey more just because he's a lineman and I'll actually be able to use him. But Telvin Smith's pretty awesome too. I like both of them. And if you guys haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get this video to 100 likes. Turn on that noti bell, boys. And enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully, I got this up for you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.